a deletion mutation, also known as a frame shift mutation, which is a gene mutation where a single nucleotide, a base, is deleted. For example, let's consider the following DNA sequence. What would be the complementary messenger RNA sequence to this? Well, let's work it out. You know that when base pairing DNA triplet codes with the complementary messenger RNA codons, adenine will always base pair with a uracil. The other bases, thiamine, cytosine and guanine, all complementary base pair as normal. Thiamine with adenine and of course cytosine with guanine. So our first messenger RNA codon is going to be uracil, 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 followed by an AUG, then GCA, UGG, UAC, UAC, and the final UAC. Okay, so here we have our messenger RNA. Why is this significant? Well, as you know from protein synthesis, DNA is transcribed into messenger RNA, which in turn is translated into protein, since of course each codon, those triplets, specify a particular amino acid. And in this case, we would have the following polypeptide chain, where the messenger RNA codon uracil 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 specifies for the amino acid phenylalanine, AUG codes for methionine, G CA will code for alanine and UGG codes for tryptophan. And the final three amino acids in this sequence are coded for by UAC and they are tyrosine to give us this particular amino acid sequence. So let's just say that this polypeptide chain is a functional protein. Now, if a single nucleotide base is deleted, the entire frame in which the sequence is read is altered, which will completely change the sequence of amino acids being coded for from that point of the mutation, the deletion. Let's take a look at how. Here's our original code. Now, let's delete this thiamine base and see what effect it has upon the polypeptide sequence from this point on. Here's our mutated DNA sequence. Notice how the reading frame for the codons has shifted. This results in all codons downstream of the point of mutation being altered. And now our mutated messenger RNA sequence reads as follows. And the primary sequence of amino acids, our polypeptide chain, is quite different. As we can see, the first two amino acids are unaffected, since obviously the mutation, the deletion, occurs after those codons. So why is the third amino acid the same, despite the codon being different? Well, this is where you need to remember the term degenerate code. Remember, the degenerate code refers to DNA having more possible combinations of triplet codes, codons, than there are amino acids, i.e. there are 20 amino acids but 64 possible codons. Therefore, some amino acids acids have more than one codon. So, because of this degenerate nature of DNA, the third amino acid here remains the same. Since the original CGT coded for alanine and so does the new codon CGA. However, in this example, after this point of mutation from where the thiamine was deleted, the triplets code for completely different amino acids, resulting in a completely different, and for the sake of this example, we'll say non-functional polypeptide. 